Mets have been swept by the New York Yankees as they advance to 21 games over 500. Ha 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 ha. Let's talk Yanks. I don't know. That's a weird sound effect BBD played. Ha 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 ha. Talking Yanks with old John Boy. John Boy and Jake. Recaps galore. Hello and welcome to Talking Yanks, brought to you by SeatGeek. My name is Jimmy, sitting next to me is Jake, and in the corner we have producer BBD. We're coming to you live from the Bronx Studios, because we were at the game and took in the comeback win, the flirtation with perfectation. Presented to you by SeatGeek, their sponsor of the show, and if you can get good tickets, we had nice tickets. Yeah. Well priced. Well priced, nice tickets, really good deal. Green bubble on SeatGeek, no doubt about it. And you can download the SeatGeek app or go to the website. Ball's in, coming down, and get tickets. Uh, and you can get $20 off with code Yanks on your first purchase. So, now I want to let you know something, Jake. Okay. It's your turn to talk now. How are you? James. Davis, everyone live in the chat. Happy 40th birthday, Scott. Uh, tenth, happy 10th birthday to Anthony. Happy 10th birthday to Anthony. Um, It's 12. Anthony was actually 12. Sorry. I think it was, was 10. A, no, the kid next to him also selling his birthday, 10. I was in, uh-huh. uh, the two birthday boys were in front of me. One's turned 12, one turned 10. Uh, James. Yeah. Joe's McFly, a friend of ours. Yeah. We, uh, you know, we watched the game with him, and on the way out, we got a lot of love from people. Thanks, everyone. You guys are the best. Uh, he turned his head to you, and he said, 21 games over 500. Yeah. And you, mm-hmm. you kind of perked up. Yeah. Because that's, that's a really good season. Yeah. It's really good. It's really, it's hard. That's a really good season. Hard to fall out of this hole. Or hard to... Uh, mountain. Where they, they built a nice mountain. Hard to have your mountain fall into a valley. Yeah. Like, I don't think they can valley. Jim, I was looking around the AL today. I mean, we, saw, we just saw the Halos. We've seen the White Sox. We've seen the Blue Jays. I mean, we are just full-blown lining up. For a third round with the Houston Astros. This team... It's pretty early, though. We're not even at... Like, we're we're a month and a half away from the All-Star break. And we're going to be... In two months, we're going to be 42 games over 500. Like, these guys can't stop, Jim. Um, the vibes are incredible. The, the pitching effort they get every day is unreal. They got two today. I don't know which one was better. Which win was better? Which which starting pitching performance? Nestor had a four pitch inning, and he didn't allow a run. Yeah, like that's that's the fact. We're at this point is insanity. Uh, we are he a had week, a lead. He had a lead to work with. We are a week away from a week removed. Jamison Jamison's was better from two thirds of our lineup. I really? Mean, I don't know. Well, he yeah, well, it gets tricky. Nestor, right? Nestor had a lead to work with right away. Jameson like right. had to fucking be perfect, right. and then at the end, I know the fact that that's even a conversation on a doubleheader day. Last year, last two years, it felt like a relief if we split a doubleheader. Yeah, I was like, just get one, please. We sweep the we're Angels. Young. We're back. We're back home. Uh, times are really good, man. There's still some holes on this team that have to get better at some point. Depending how they get better, they will. They have to. Whoa, monkey on the screen. Uh, things are great, Jim. How are how are you? Do, how are you doing? 
I'm good. I'm excited. I mean, that game was a really fun game to be at, and Joe's, who goes to a lot of games, said that that was the best atmosphere he's seen all season. And then we rode the elevator down with uh, our couple crew, friends. a couple friends at the S yes Network, Kay, Coney, and and Smythe. And uh, was it Cohen who said it? Someone said that was that was maybe Smythe. That, that was the best yeah. crowd of the season. Smythe confirmed. I think it was. This, I think it's stamped. It was best crowd of the season from two guys. Yeah. Who have been to a lot of games at the stadium. They go to a lot of games. Joe's measured it via his heart. Yeah. James Smythe, he used uh, he used a number. Yeah. Well, he has a rating. Yeah. Yeah. Decibel. Game one, surprisingly. Decibel rating. Not surprisingly, it was bad. Not a lot of people. Not a lot of people. One. And I get it. Yeah. I get it. Do we want to talk about these games? Do we yeah. need to clean anything up? Do we need to clean anything up? Is there any housekeeping, or do we just get into the games? Did anyone come back? No, Stanton and Donaldson soon, but they're not back yet. I don't think any any new injuries. Nobody returned. Florio either. was the 27th man today, did not participate in baseball. Oh. Got a free day of service time. Congrats. Get paid. You did he was so close to his. And get laid. Anchor on the date. Okay. Andujar. What you, Andujar. Tell everyone what you're looking at on your... Uh, Tom Burns' baseball reference. Yeah. Uh, exceeded his rookie limit in 1880. Yeah. Died in 1902 in Jersey City. Um, he was uh, 11 days from turning 45, so it's kind of sad. Okay. Yeah. The Yankees have the best home record in the majors, 20-7. and seven. Who's beat him at home? The Orioles? Can't be touched, can't be stopped, can't be beat at home. We hot. Orioles beat them on a... No, that was a way. That was a way. Get your facts right, Jimmy. Uh, Boston beat them. Toronto beat them. Toronto beat them. White Sox, White Sox in that last doubleheader. That's why they won both. They had to redeem the last yeah. doubleheader. I got a shot of redemption. And then Baltimore. Should we talk about the games? Let's talk about the games. Let's get into the burns. Jake was burning in the press box. Yeah. Just another writer. Just another, just another, another you. Another writer. Adler, Sweeney. I got to get this story out. Otani effect's pretty re- real. That was the most crowded. Yeah. That was a crowded press box. Popular, popular guy. People like him. Let's get straight into it. Big shoulder. BBD, play the burn music mm. in three, two, one. Burn, Jackie Burn. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim head into NYC, hoping to have a series win while the Monty and the Yankees would try to play devil's advocate and keep up their winning ways. Mets legend Noah Syndergaard on the bump, but instead of looking like Thor of Asgard, he just straight up got his ass kicked. Four runs in the first as Rizzo and Torres go Wrigley Gum, doubling their breath pleasure, double their fun. The people know that commercial. And the Yankees find Jesus as the carpenter finds the porch. Was Cindergard long for this game? Noah. Only last 2.1. Meanwhile, Monty was game cock. Go USC. For seven innings pitch, one earned run, which would be more than enough for the Yankees. Nine runs capped off by, hit the music, Trevino. Oh, wow. Let the rhythm take you over, Trevino. Te quiero, catch your homers. A three-hit day by our friend Jose Trevino. Monty to Castro to Mustache McKay. Mm-hmm. Yankees win, 9-1 final. Boom, boom. Great job by you, Jake Storielli. Okay. This was one of the more complete games of the season. They hit for homers. Eesh. They hit for homers. Uh, they had some doubles. They had a sack fly. I heard three different people in the office say this was their favorite game of the season. They had a stolen base. The start of this game was electric. They had a they had a jumping catch by Judge. They had a running yeah. catch by Gallo. They had Trevino pick a runner off. Yeah. They had a nice play by Kiner. Yeah. Um, this game had it all. They had great pitching by Jordan Montgomery. Yes. Seven innings. 
seven innings, but defense, yeah. defensive highlights, offensive highlights, pitching, prowess. So I Ooh. thought this was uh, the most complete game of the season. The start of this game was electric. This was a send the send the first two innings of this game out to to new fans of the game and explain to them everything that's going on. It's almost too much action. The Yankees, man. I mean, Monty, arguably the least sexy pitcher on the staff right now, is having an incredible year. I don't uh, think he's given up four runs in a start this year, Jim. He hasn't. He hasn't. Someone was trying to be like a jokester on Twitter, and it was like, Monty's going to blow this, give up five in the fifth. And I was like, he hasn't given up four runs yet this year. Yeah. And he, and he looks good. And I don't want to get into Monty yet because I think he might sure. be coming up later, but maybe not. I don't know. Um, not even not an award. An Stuff. award. Okay. An award, Jake. Just Monty? Yeah. What are you talking I about? I sniffed that out What instantly. are you talking about? Instant sniff. I'm thinking maybe you give it an award. Instant sniff. Oh, Zen coming down. Only, can I give it out to six guys? It's just six guys. That, dude, that doesn't sound like me at all. What do you mean? Why do you think it was you? I said it wasn't me. I said it doesn't even sound like me. Couldn't be me. DJ LeMayhew, two hits, two RBI. Glaber Torres, two hits in this game. Uh, this was kind of the Trevino game, too. Uh, he was all over the place. He dodges yeah. the catcher tag. Nimble. Um, the back pick was really nice. After the day after seeing us at our office. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, nine hole Joey Gallo put together a, a two hit day with a walk. Um, everything was clicking. Um, t- Mustache McKay made it a little not fun at the end. Which did was, you see the? Was not did you see the report? Like the umpire just. It was like one point six five. I don't care in favor, sure. but some of those calls in the ninth inning, both ways, both ways, blue. Like, well, no, not both ways. All again, like one way, expanding blue. the zone for the Yankees and then shrinking it for the Angels. I don't care at all. He but it was a when you see the stats, it's ridiculous. He loves a comeback. Yeah, that was like literally what a lot of Yankee fans probably considered their most fun game of the year. Uh, the only buzz killingtons were Mike King got up because Castro kind of got in trouble, and then Clay Holmes got up. Because uh, McKay got in trouble. But if that's what we're complaining about, she's a beauty, that number nine. Uh, go Yankees, go. Go Yankees, go Yankees, go. Go Yankees, go Yankees, go. Aaron Judge, the only Yankee without a hit in this game. Can you believe baseball? Well, they intentionally walked him at one point. Can you believe baseball? Assin. Uh oh. Florio returned to Triple A as a twenty seventh man right. and Mustache McKay optioned. Someone's someone's coming. Is that, is Stanton or, or um, JD ready? Yeah, I don't know which day is ten days, but I think can you ten, Stanton's ten days are probably coming. I'm sure people will be tweeting soon. Yeah, because they might just go to a four man bench. There is a big a, a move that has to happen soon. We'll get to that later on, but. They can go to a four-man bench and just activate Stanton and then not have to lose anyone else. If Stanton or JD are available tomorrow. Seems like everyone's saying Stanton tomorrow. That would kind of make sense. JD, and, there's been nothing about him, right? And, man, go check out the Yankees' bullpen budget of late. Why'd you say no instantly? Go check out their bullpen usage, for sure. Go check out their bullpen usage, uh, a.k.a. the BB. Uh, and they really haven't been using their guys a lot. So if a four-man bench would be pretty pretty welcome. And there's a couple guys that are okay to be on the bench right now. Yeah. 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 Okay. So thank you for the update. And then on this game, there's really no decision-making to be had. They didn't pinch hit, obviously. And then they went Castro to McKay. So let's move And on. I think this game was their... Andy Horst stolen base. I like it. It was something like their... Sixth or seventh blowout win, which matched all of last year. Like last year or something. KT Sharp had it uh, because she always has it because she's the queen of stats. (laughs) The sniffles a little bit. 
sometimes. You do got the sniffles a little bit, yeah. and you're sorry. Allergies about it. have been killing me. Oh man, we I don't have the mute button here. I had a so terrible I've been muting myself and sniffling at, at our office. That's good for that's a great yeah, job. So I haven't really go. utilized that that much, but that seems a little obvious to some of the people. It seemed a little obvious to me. I saw it. I Let's burn game two, man. Lonely people. Bum, 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 bum. Let's. Really? Burn game two and tell us what happened in the opening of the doubleheader. Turn it down a little bit. Doubleheader day in the Bronx as the face of baseball. Nestor Cortez Jr. faces off against Shoei Otani. A DH for the Angels. Doing some handyman work while getting drunk. The Carpenter having Glaber bombs. The two best friends, Homer and the first to make it. Two, nothing, Yankees make it three in my bank account. Uh, Aaron Judge adds to his generational wealth with his 19th homer of the season. Caught me a Marwin with the RBI double. And then DJ26 turns the table with a solo homer of his own. Six, nothing, Yanks as Andujar sacrifices himself for the team. And guess what? That was five more than Nestor needed. Seven inning shut piece for the Yankees ace. Unreal. Clark gives up one because he feels bad, but Yankees roll again. Nestor to Clark to Wandy as they win 6 1 final. Nestor, pretty good. Otani, tough outing. <sighs> Carpenter? Gets the leadoff spot yeah. and then goes 11 pitch at bat that yeah. ends with a homer? Could you ask for more out of a leadoff at bat? 12 pitches. Jesus, you're greedy. Mm. Look at you sitting there being all greedy. Fellow carpenter. Um, Matt, Car- <sighs> Matt Carpenter leadoff home run. That sentence would have been confusing a week or two ago, is, wouldn't it? Is he... Th- Shouldn't have Does been he in? have three hits and they're all homers? Yes. There's a fun stat with that. Do you want it now or do you think it'll end up in awards? No, I want it now. You want the stat now? Yep. You want the stat now. Look at you. Look at you. Um, I'll find it, but I'm getting close. Okay. Uh, Yankees, whose first three hits with the team were all home runs. There's three of them. Can you name them? One's Matt Carpenter. Say it again. Three Yankees. Yeah. First three hits with the team. All home runs. Higgy's an easy one there. Higgy's the easy one. Called that when it happened. 0 for 20. Had to be a homer. Three in a row. Uh, Higgy. Judge. Judge. Give me. uh, Not Judge. Sorry, I meant. I was recapping. I meant Higgy Carpenter. Can you give me. um, Is it um, in my lifetime? Yeah. Okay, now cut my life in half. Okay. And is it first no, half or no. second half? Don't 2004, both. before or after? Both. He played in both. Played in both. So he's a long Yankee. Do you agree with the assessment that he played in both? If it's, it's not, I was going to ask if it's a fun name. It's a fun name. It's a beloved Yankee. I don't think. Played him before 2004 and after? I can look it up, dog. Like, I'm not a years guy. You don't know like years at all. I don't really do years. Doesn't do but, years. But, but I think I'm all around Off the top it. of your head, he's multiple years. It's both. I mean, it's both. I guess when it happened, it would have been first half. Oh, wow. Okay, that really narrows it down. Uh, Soriano. Alfonso Soriano. <laughs> really? Yeah. Beloved Yankee. Both? First half covered that time period. Yeah, swung a hot bat. Swung a hot bat. No, nah, heavy bat. Heavy bat, dude. I was hoping it was gonna be Shelly Duncan. Mm. Uh, he's a White Sox now, so now. Yeah, he's like an enemy. Nah, Shelly Duncan. We met him, and he was very nice. And I mean, I love Shelly Duncan. What was that? Shelly Duncan would have been second half. Yeah. 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 Okay. I got that information from Brian Hoke, who we saw tonight and uh, looks great okay. and wants to play Blitzball and get shoved on and be sad after. 
What do I tell my family? I mean, we got to up I our waiver. I just got torched. We got to up our waiver if Hokey comes to the warehouse because he's we a walking injury. That. We talked you about talked about that? that? Yeah, he's, he's like, yeah. you know. He might, Told him we had people sign waivers for the previous tournaments. And he like, might we'd see, have to up He might see the curveball and break something. From the stands, I'm thinking. All right. Yankees win game one of the doubleheader. Yeah, Nestor shoved, and uh, they hit a bunch of solo homers. No, I mean, dude, it just... It almost felt like a joke of a game. Like if we, if we wrote up like a joke script before the game, it's like okay, well Carpenter lead off Homer, obviously. obviously. Judge Homers again. Nestor's gonna Nestor's have a four seven pitch. Shot. And Nestor up a four pitch inning. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Nestor up a four pitch inning. Yeah, it's a cocky pregame show of a game. Yes. Well, we'll get the show. Hey, probably put two on them in the first. Like that's a cocky pregame show. Yeah. Of a game. Yeah. Award. I mean, him and Cindergard. Cindergard. What was that? Uh, Noah, investor in John Boy Media, so yeah. we love him. But Cindergard, I mean, I don't know if he was tipping. Uh, zero swings and misses. The only, he only got one swing and miss. It was a curveball where it seemed like Judge really recognized it and, right. and, and swung. It's a zero. popular conversation after this game today. It was. It was. He might have been tipping. He might not actually can ask someone about that. And then, um, and then, but his slider... Was nothing. It was off the plate, and it was like kind well, of one on the plate to DJ got mashed potatoes. Like kind of a very non-competitive slider. He's had good games, but he didn't he have a second pitch. Yeah, barely had a first. I know Tani was searching for, or Tani was searching for. Oh, that sounded like bandwagon blue shirts for a minute. Um, Yankees dominate, man. They there's the rain delay that kind of stinks. Wandy comes back, locks it up. Locks it up. Lock it up, Wandy. Oh, no. What? What'd you just see? My guy that I message yeah. about tipping pitches stuff. Yeah. Uh, we only communicate via LinkedIn, right. which I don't use right. ever. Recently, we had a nice announcement as a company got investments and blah, blah, blah. So I opened my LinkedIn messages and then it's like just oh, like comedy a, show. Just a lot of comedy messages show. that I'm not interested in. Yeah. Okay. What else? I I was uh I was in and out of this game. I was watching on my phone as I was bouncing around the house doing cleaning up. I was uh driving a little listening. So were there any particularly nice defensive plays in game two, the first game of the double header that I missed that someone might want to hear about? Well, we missed it in the first game. Kiner had that diving stop on Trout. Yeah, that was, she, uh, that was at, awesome. a, at a big time in the best game. play of best play of his season. Uh, game one today. Let's see. Nestor's being nasty. Rizzo. Rizzo had the diving stop. Yes, um, yes. I saw that. He stepped on first. That was a great play. Um, <laughs> just saw your <laughs> Vasilevsky what? meme. I just saw your Vasilevsky meme. Good. What's it say? Verbalize it. It's the guy checking out the girl and his girlfriend's upset with him. And, right. uh. The girl he's checking out says, let in another goal. Yeah. And Vasquez, looking at, let, Vasquez he's looking at let in another goal and then make a save is getting jealous. It's ignoring making a save. Yeah. And he's just attracted to letting in goals. Did you see my other Vasilevsky tweet? Is Vasilevsky, <laughs> Ru- <laughs> is Vasilevsky Russian for let's in goals? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good try. I, I was I, curious. I wish I saw that. I was curious. I wish I Check saw that. Check out Bandwagon Blue Shirts when you guys get a chance. It's a good show. Um, let's see. Nestor, Clarky, kind of don't care. Wandy was a little worried if he was going to take things seriously enough after a rain delay, but it was the ninth inning. I mean, and Wandy O'Connor. surviving the rain delay is hilarious. Nuts. You should have <laughs> heard John and Susan. I, I gasped. I was in the stands. I had just gotten to the game uh, for this, and I was talking to a couple people, and I was like, oh, no. Like, if Wandy doesn't care, we might have a situation on our hands. And I love saying situation like He that. cared so much. He cared so Boone much. Boone didn't want to he put him back. Nuts. Boone didn't want to put him back out there. Not that last out. He was the loudest. If you're the loudest <clears throat> person on the last out, that's saying something. At the stadium. I had a mean thought about Wandy. Okay. Kind of a mean thought. It, it kind of plays into the lore of Wandy, the meme of Wandy sure. more than anything. What we've created of Wandy. Because he he was not using Pitchcom. Now, we know the reason now is that the Angels' Pitchcom was broken. 
And Joe Madden said, well, if we can't use it, yeah. they don't get to use it. That's only fair. That was what he was upset with the umpires about. So then that he didn't have it. Yeah. Um, and when I was watching the game, the, the broadcast booth didn't know that. So they're like, oh, Wandy, like one of the only pitchers mm. opting not to use pitchcom. Mm. And I had a thought where, like, it's not that Wandy, uh, Wandy doesn't speak any language. <laughs> like, he just doesn't understand words. He's the languageless man. Yeah. Like, yes. Basically, I had him yeah. as languageless. And they're like, like is- in a way, he speaks every language. Yes, yeah. But in a way, he speaks no. And I was language. laughing as I was driving and listening, yeah. uh, thinking about that. Like, wait, this is going to work for Juan. He doesn't speak any language. <laughs> Not mute or like anything like that. He speaks every game. He's got a language. Yeah. Nestor picked off Otani in this game as well. Yeah, yeah. that was awesome. Yeah, Otani having a tough time. Oh. And, and then Judge and, uh, and Hicks yeah. almost had a collision. I let out two audible, like, noises in this game. They were, like, laugh and then horse, like, like, <laughs> It was Nestor picking off Otani, and I was like, come on, man. Like, you got, you got too many tricks. I'm trying to think about what the second was. I'll look at the box score, see if I can find it. Okay. But I don't know. I might not. And you are pinch hit. So the Yankees got two pinch hit. Come throughs. Two PH CTs. Um, Glaber had to swat a bug. Yeah, that was fun. Really good camera work there. Yep. All right. Yes, crushes it with the camera work. Let's see. Quick scroll the quick scroll the box score to see if I can if I can find the other thing that got an audible laugh and then horse <laughs> noise out of me. I don't think so. I'm not seeing it. Okay. Okay. Let's go to game three. Some are calling it the most energized crowd of the year. Wow, 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 wow. And I want to hear what you have to say about it. Yeesh. Burn, Jakey, burn. The Yankees bring their broomsticks to try to sweep away the halos and the rain as Jameson... Dion gets his NASCAR driver on as he takes a bump. You might look in the box score and see a bunch of zeros, but in a way, the scoreboard was perfect. Jamison Tyone had yet to let a runner on base through seven, but into the eighth. Arr, it's off the glove, and then it's off the love. 1-0 halos on a Suzuki single. But then, like the episode of Friends where Chandler hooks up with Joey's sister, at first it's not the right Italian, Gallo, but then Ooh. it's the right one. Rizzo with the pinch hit RBI single. Clay Holmes with the touching tribute to former closer Araldis Chapman by loading the bases, but the robot horse gets out of it. Angels implies that LA is dead as the Yankees sweep the Halos and take the final game of the series 2-1 final. Now, I, 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 now me, my turn to talk. Okay, fair. <laughs> I've been saying, I've been saying, and this is not a shot at the Angels. Yeah. Anyway, and I genuinely mean that. It's a, it's a, it's a compliment to the Yankees. When JMO lost the perfect game and then right. they went up one nothing, I had zero point zero fear of losing the game. Right. As you should have. Not a shot at the Angels, just a belief it's in truth. the Yankees team. The bench was kind of stacked, uh, and I I thought they'd pinch it Rizzo quicker. But they didn't. Mm. Guess they just like pinch hitting for the catcher. Yeah, we were surprised. Hicks, I mean, Hicks actually had a couple hits this series, so they were probably trying to build on that. Again, uh, the Yankees struggles. Um, <laughs> for some reason, my brain jumped to golf. Like, if the Yankees have, like, their six iron and five iron aren't working right now, Gallo, Hicks, but they're still, like, Parring or birding the holes, so they're still gonna use them. 
Because, like, they're hitting bad shots with them, but they still they end up finishing the hole great, and it doesn't, it doesn't hurt them. Um, so that kind of felt like not pitch hitting for Hicks, and then Rizzo does it right back up to the middle. is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Yeah. Good game. Good game. Good game. What else, what else was going on? Electric stands. I mean, when the when it kicked in that there was a perfect game on the line, it got pretty loud. Every out was fun. Oh, man, I didn't see this replay of Rizzo's scream. Did you yeah. see this? He yeah. roared. That's a CC Savvy type roar. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know he had that in him. Damn. I'm happy for him now. Pitching-wise, uh, pretty simple. Clay Holmes. Mm. Now, some people were saying, some people around me sitting directly in front of me were saying that they thought Clay Holmes got, wanted to make sure he got to Walsh. Right. To lightly hit him for Chapman. I didn't think that was true. I don't think he's trying to hit him on purpose. I thought the whole inning was kind of a, a tribute. Um You know, Clay Holmes has been so automatic. Maybe he sensed the energy in the stands and was just trying to trying to let that go a little more. I'm not sure I'd have to ask Clay Holmes. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he technically he didn't give up a hit in the inning. <laughs> walking, nah, he's kind of just wild. Walking two hit by pitches. I mean, there's okay, we were watching from the stands. It felt like there was a couple calls there. That could have ended the game on Otani. I don't know how close they we were. We were pretty far away, and I always think about the umpire is just so much closer than us. It's true. No argument there. I've never sat closer than an umpire. Um, well, I mean, you mean home plate umpire. Home plate umpire. Yes, okay. It's fair. That is good. All right, I mean, do you want to get to awards then? That was the, the, the pinch hitting is the story. The, if we're going to critique moves, which is kind of what we try mm-hmm. to do on these recaps, then the, the, the not pinch hitting for Hicks or Gallo, I think, because who else was on the bench? Uh, Rizzo. Carpenter. Was on Carpenter. The bench you had, you Carpenter. had Carpenter. Um, and I get it. They're all lefties. So, but, and you give the guys a day off, but I thought that you choose Hicks or Gallo, which one you're going to pinch hit for, and then Higgy gets pinch hit for, and you go, uh, you have to use, like, Carpenter. Like, I would have used both. Yeah, if you, I mean, I guess here's here's what's happened. Um they're not driving the final stake through Hicks or Gallo. And if they do that, they're driving the final stake through them. I guess I guess you can't pinch hit for either of them. They were both playing the outfield, and Marwin's out there. So would they not have an outfielder? I mean, you could kick Marwin out Oh, you kick to the outfield and Carpenter would play third, but yeah. I don't think he's done that for the Yankees yet, right? But you then you could kick DJ to the third and Carpenter to the first. So very doable. Right. Marwin would just go to right. Or Rizzo comes in. You'd have to and they then don't want to drive gonna, the final stake through. They Hicks couldn't or put Gallo. Gallo in center, so then Hicks is the only option there. Or no no. Gallo's the only option there. You have to leave Hicks. Because you're not going to play Anduhar or Marwin or Gallo in center. So maybe I get it a little. It's a little, a little complicated to pinch hit for, for them. But I still would have used Rizzo before we got to, I don't know, whatever. It worked out. Yankees no, really <laughs> yeah. uh, Kind of with a stolen base. Kind of with a caught stealing. Yanks are running, man. Andy Hoare's running. They're running on uh, first and second. They put two hit and runs in play yeah. early in this game. Andy Hoare's running. Higgy missed and Andy Hoare missed. Tyone. Yeah, but wait. I know. Let's go to the second half of the show. Who's it brought to you by? I think so. Was it by DraftKings? Yeah. It doesn't come in a jar? That's not the official slogan. DraftKings comes from who you are. People. DraftKings. Poppy Gordo. Got another parlay. Going out tomorrow. 
DraftKings, they're the official MLB sports gambling partner. Um, and if you're into this kind of thing, go check them out. Jimmy, I mean, he'll give you some winners. Mm-hmm. Not the highest payouts necessarily, but I man. Mean, I mean, I, I put money on Judge. I put to lead the league in homers. Right. We'll see if that comes true. It's off to a good start. Great um, start. One of the best starts. One of the best starts, you think? Leads the league. It is It is one of the best starts. If not the best start, dude. Yeah. Um, so what you should do, go check out the DraftKings Sportsbook. I guess maybe bet on New York to win because that's like all they do. Uh you can bet $5 on any team to win, and you get 150 in free bets no matter what, win or lose. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code JUMBOY. Bet just $5 and get $150 in free bets no matter what happens on the field. That's promo code JUMBOY at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Major League Baseball. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. That will be trademarks used with permission. The first award we give out here really on Talking Yankees is Pride of the Yankees. Pride of the Yankees. Yeah. Pride of the Yankees. Pride of the Yankees. Yeah, yeah. And Jake gets to go first. Oh man, because he's still trying to find the Lord. Holy Cucamonga Ranch. There's yeah. options, dude. Okay. I mean, I'm seeing like. One, two, three, four options. Interesting. And some of those could turn into awards later. You're seeing four options. Yeah. Four. Yeah. I'm also seeing... um, I'm seeing... um, I'm seeing stars. I'm seeing stars. Oh, my. I don't think a single option played all three games. Interesting. Um, you know what? Do that. I'm an energy guy, Jim. Okay. You know that. All right. So whether it goes back to high school soccer, yeah, um, you won't eat goo. You know whether it's you know going to a soiree, mixing it up, Jim. The energy at the stadium tonight, some of the best it's been all year. And by the way, still weird conditions, right? Because a lot of people thought the game might get rained out. Otani was supposed to start the night game, and then he didn't. So that stadium did not have to be rocking. But when Jamison Tyone got through the seventh with the perfect game and got Otani and Trout out, everyone's brains jumped to a very cool place and jumped to a very special night. And jump to us thinking, like, are we about to stumble into, like, our one of our biggest episodes ever? Are we going to jump into a top 10% episode tonight? It didn't happen. It didn't happen. That's okay. Jameson Tyone is having an incredible season, man. And he's kind of, he's still getting overshadowed by some of the fellas. Some Nestor. Um, his ERA on the year is two three. <laughs> yeah, it's two three. Yankees rotation is pretty nutty. Um, I, I do have to remind myself. Ten starts. I do have to remind myself. Yeah, that it's 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 not like early, but we are to haven't played half of the season. Right, like a third. I just I, and not third. to not to throw his name on under the bus right mm. now, but. And, and the good news is right. all five pitchers are hot yeah. and having really good seasons. Hot wood. You know, you just think of a lot of all-star pitchers that make the all-star game and then due to workload, due to right. corrections by the league, due to whatever, the second half isn't there. Whoa. I'm just saying. Right like, of the Yankees. And, no, no, no. I'm just saying I don't want. I'm trying not to get overzealous. Get overzealous, dude. You almost saw a perfect game tonight. Tyone, zero walks, no shock. 
Yeah. That's what's what him and Nestor have the best at. Nestor Pack. in the fucking zone nonstop. Um and Jameson Tyone's last Late. Let's get to the game log, Jake. Jakey, let's get to the... Uh, Jake, are you crazy? Um, in his last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games, he's only given up one home run. That's pretty nutty because he's like a fly ball pitcher. Like still kind of like a four seam. Yeah, I don't know if he is. Maybe he's not a fly ball pitcher uh, anymore, bit, but he but, was for a little bit. Uh, um, and a pitcher in Yankee Stadium pretty often. <laughs> You might forget his uh, his last start <laughs> was against Tampa. Eight innings, two hits. I don't know, man. What's he doing? Hey, can I can, let me let me bring up his? Get your nerd out a little bit. Maybe start presenting your pride of the Yankees. Eat shit. <laughs> no, I just wanted to see his pitch usage because you remember when heavy changeup. That's my uncle. He went heavy changeup against the Blue Jays. They don't have it yet. Don't have it because it happened Game today. Just happened. Dog. My pride of the Yankees goes to Nestor Cortez Jr. Oh my God! Look at this stat I just pulled up from what? Playoff Tanaka Gabe's Twitter. Look at this: Nestor having the second longest streak of starts, giving up three earned runs or fewer in Yankees history. Yeah, the second longest streak. Of starts giving up three earned runs or fewer in Yankees history. Yeah. Yankees history. Who's got the number one streak? I think it was an old timer. Like he kind of has the streak. Was it like, like if we're playing street rules, Nestor has the streak? You think it was like Jack Chess? I don't think it was Red Ruffin. You think it was just Cheese Bro? I don't think it was Chess Bro. Uh, yeah. I mean, he had a four-pitch inning. He's been incredible. BBD was butter knifing in the stands today. Some of JMO stats. It's basically Which, what did a, you find? It's basically been a year since that Philly start. He he didn't quite get there. He couldn't give up a run today, basically. Um, but he's getting close to having an ERA below three since the since that Philly start. 150 innings is what he's pitched since then, basically. 149.2. He's about to make some money. Mm. Good time for it. Mm-hmm. Oh, ain't Madden thinks that Otani was tipping. Yeah. I referenced that before. You haven't seen that yet? I thought you were talking about uh, Syndergaard. No. Joe, Joe Madden gave a, a couple quotes. It was on Otani, but he was like, I don't, I don't think they were doing anything illegal. It's just like I... I think they're very good at it. He was, I think he was alluding to both of them. He specifically said it about Otani, if memory serves, but alluded to both. Yeah. Well, I reached out to find out if they had a tip. We're looking into it, people. Yeah. Um, Nestor's awesome. Yes. That's the main, that's the main thing here. Big time. That's the main thing. Big time Timmy Jim. I tell you guys something you're gonna okay. be interested in. Yeah, Jameson Tyone, Nestor Cortez this week's pride of the Yankees. Also, last series pride of the Yankees, you guys flipped them, gave them to the other guy. Shake hands about it. Jake and I are shaking hands, we're kind of holding hands in prayer, more like it. They're prayer hands. So Nestor Tor- Tor- Nestor Cortez, Torquez, Cortez. He gives up. He goes twenty pitches in the first inning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was one, two, three inning. One, two, three, one, two, three. But it was 20 pitches. He was working. And it's, a good, it's a good three for the Halos. That's a good three outs for the Halos. The tough. He, in the second inning, what is this, 9, 10, 15, 19, 24 pitches in the second inning. That's a lot of pitches because yeah. now you're at 44 pitches after two. True, two. How's he going to make it? How deep can he go in this game? You know? Yeah. Oh, he went seven innings? Oh. Yeah. How'd that happen? Pretty nuts. I mean, in the third inning, he threw... Four worms. One, two, three. 
nine. That was the other audible laugh he gave me. Fifteen. So what? So we're at forty-four plus fifteen. We're at basically fifty-nine 59. pitches after three. Yeah. Angels, what happened? Lester happened. He had one of his speed innings where I like couldn't believe the inning was over. I think it was the four pitch inning. But I just, I just, I let out a laugh and then the horse, because I was like, this is ridiculous. I've never seen anyone less scared of attacking hitters. 71 pitches through the fourth. I didn't, 80, 86 pitches through the fifth. And then in the sixth inning, four pitches. Fly out, strike, ground out, ground out. All strikes. <laughs> Dude, he's stupid. In the words of, again, my friend Joe's McFly, why were the Angels not trying harder to get him out of the game? That's none of my business. Okay. Damn. Angels. Good pride. Good, good pride. pride. Good pride. Good, good pride. Prides. Good pride. It, uh, you're up for the next thing we do. You Yankee motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Um... I think there's only one real one, which just has me nervous that I'm going to do a real one and you do like a fake one. Listen, man. Yeah. You get, you get to go first, and whatever you want to do, you Actually, can do. no, no, no. I said, hey, 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 and a ho, ho, ho. Jim. I gave out a real one last week. Read everyone verbatim. Don't say another word. Read verbatim what you searched on Google that's now on the big screen TV. What? No, I said you read it verbatim. <laughs> say it again so the people listening understand what's happening. Read it verbatim. You search something into Google. Google Images. That is now up on the TV in front I of put us. a lot of different things on the big screen in front of us. I said you can't say anything else. Keep it fresh. so many other things. I searched ugly Jake story. <laughs> There's some good picks up there. Yeah. Zach Kelsey's pops up. That's hilarious. Uh, Jimmy. Yeah. We don't have a ton of currents. Ton of ton of concerns so far this year with the Yankees. There's some big ones. You know, one of my biggest concerns this year is the Clay Holmes usage. Yeah, mine too. He's getting used a lot, yeah, he's getting right? Used a lot. Yeah, like yeah. he's going to need a breather at some point. Yeah. And David Mustache McKay comes in, mm-hmm. and we got to do mound visits. We got to get Clay Holmes up for that. David Mustache McKay is my Yankee MFer. Well, he just got sent down, so this is the second time Jake has. Just piled on a guy who got sent down. And I'm giving him a big hug. Welcome to the family. I mean, Marinaccio, you can put it in the bank. If a guy gets the worst news of his career, hey, thanks for hanging out in the big leagues, you're done. Jake will then sprinkle the pain on top and say, and by the way, you're also my MFR. Jimmy. Rude. Ron Marinaccio and Mustache McKay. Yeah. They're each second cousins. Marinaccio's kind of your hot boy second cousin who thinks he's just too much. He's too hot, that chin line. Mm. But I still give him a hug at the family reunion. Mustache McKay, he weirds you out. He opens up with a one-liner that you can't believe every time. No, not to pile on the pile on. But they're family. That's why I'm giving them an MF or hug. You MF or not to pile on the pylon. Yeah. But I have two The pylon? Not to pile on the pylon, but I have two things. Okay. David McKay. Yeah. Just not a Yankee. What are you talking about? Like I, I see him and I'm just like, this guy's Did you a, not see the picture I posted of him this the guy's other day? A, this guy's a ray. He's like the he's the core of Yankees. I see him as an infiltrator. Now, I'll show you the picture. Now, I Ron Marinaccio, the first time we had press passes, we were on the field right. before the game. Ron Marinaccio walked past us, right? That chin line. Right? 
Now, according to all the websites I've checked, and I checked three of them, right? Ron Marinaccio is listed at six two. Yeah, but when he walked by us, it didn't feel like that. No, I think he was with some big boys. I think he was with Castro, but still. Oh, that would hurt. I'm going to show you this picture of David Mustache McKay, and you tell me this isn't a Yankee. <laughs> what night was this that you're tweeting? I was hot. You were hot. I was upset. I was I, hot. I'm upset I wasn't checking your Twitter. That was the night he pitched. That was, uh... Yeah. So that was... That also the... Shoes? So not the Rangers no. night. I was just flames emoji. Speaking dude. of you being hot, when you Google hot That's Jake Storielli, pick. this one comes up, and That's I'm glad you don't pick. look like that anymore. I look fat there. Also, your hair's weird. The sweater's weird. Oh, like that's we a mix. It the sweater's weird. The, it's a real bad get up. Weird. What um? Can I ask you who's your Yankee MFer? Yeah, I was gonna give it to you. I thought. No. That's illegal. BBD Not won't type eligible? that in. BBD won't type that in the sheet. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Well, now I got to think on it. I had everything planned out. Um, what do you got? Who's your Yankee MF? Or? It's a tough one. It's a tough one, man. Because there's a guy that you want to give it to, but his numbers are good. And then there's a guy um, yeah. that there's like no one that deserves it. Well, Mustache McKay, but we got to give out a Yankee MF. Or. You know, there was times I tried to pull out and was like, you know, we just swept and everyone was This is great. the best batting average for a single series I've seen yeah. collectively. Yeah. Anyone have. Which is nuts because the last game they didn't really hit. But So who are you going to? No, well, Mullins, is he eligible? <laughs> Hensley Mullins. Bam Bam? <laughs> Hitting coach. After you just said they had... Like, their best hitting series. That just feels a little... I didn't give you the reason why he would I'm get it. I'm getting mixed cities. I didn't give you the reason why he would get it. I'm just asking. You have 15 seconds to explain why he should get the mf -er. And then you're getting a Caesar thumb. I'm getting a Clark Schmidt. Okay. Game would have just ended. Mullins, he didn't even put up a fight for it. No. Okay. Um, I just think it's very odd we haven't seen, like, a Mullins feature. Or like Yes Network zooms in. Like there's Hen there's there's yeah. Henley Mullins. He doesn't. In the he's not a press guy. I asked. Uh, I asked. Press guy. Uh, Everyone loves him. I asked people in the press room. I was like, "Is he in in it?" But I'm going to Clark Schmidt. He gave up as many hits uh, as Jamison Tyone, and he didn't even get three outs. And then the rain delay happens, and then Juan D has to pitch back to back, which is actually badass. Right. Uh, I I really want Clark to become a weapon. Yeah. So that was like a a moment yeah, was where I was like, oh, a... five run it was five run five run lead. Like if Clark can finish this game, like do the Michael King, take it home and do three innings yeah. uh or two innings, I thought that was gonna be really cool. I was like, fuck. But then he didn't and then I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I mean the other guys, like the people that are still like topics like Gallo and, and Hicks, like their numbers on the yeah. on the series, like Hicks had a five hundred batting average and a six twenty five on base. Gallo had a three hundred and a four seventeen. Now there's still topics to talk yeah. about, but they're just not as a tough MF -er to give out. You're right. I think you did the right thing, dude. Thanks. No problem, man. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next up. James, my first award. Don't. Oh, BBD. My first award. Is the made. The made me feel proud award. Now, see, that's a bad look for me. <laughs> that's as bad of a look as you can have. <laughs> Dude, you throw that on Twitter for those people. <laughs> That's bad. That's <laughs> big bad. What I Googled to find that one was BBD John Boy. Okay, what's what's your first award? Made me feel proud award. 
Made Me Feel Proud Award. Yeah. Trevino. It is not Jose Trevino. Okay. Jimmy, we're a cron pod. Yeah. We're not a math pod. Mm-hmm. We, for years, have prided ourselves on being an on-pod. Yes, that's true. And when you're an on-pod, sometimes you got to take a lump or two or just be on about it. You always got to be on, yeah. Isaiah Kiner Falefa is on this team to play defense. He made his three best plays as a Yankee in this series. Highlight level plays. Michael Trout in the hole, diving and throwing. Shohei Otani, perfect game on the line. Making the play. IKF. I'm starting to think he's a confidence guy too. I'm thinking I'm going to stop throwing that word around because a lot of athletes are confidence people. Confidence is key, tattooed on Tyler Wade's arm. His stick left for a while. His OPS, I think one or two at-bats, dipped into the fives. Not good. IKF, he gets... Three hits this series. I think it's tree for eight. Uh, I think that trout play fueled him a little bit. He had a couple bad luck hits that I think got to him, like that double that hit the line and got called foul. That was IKF. Uh, he hits a ball off a liner off Tyler Wade's glove just to rub it in. Mm. He's out there to play defense, Jim. We want routine plays, and we want a couple highlight-level plays. He finally gave me the highlight plays to chew on. And I was strongly, before I found out Jameson Tyone had a perfect game going, I was going to give him my pride of the Yankees. So uh, Isaiah Kiner Falefa made me a little proud, man. Nice plays. I don't know what it means, but I'm excited to find out. And I want to be sure. Sh- I think he's going to go on a little bit of a heater. Any Avarex vibes there from you? No, because what he's done still doesn't change in my head what I think the plan is. Will be the plan. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Some really nice plays. Nice plays. What's uh, uh I hate IKF the name. Right. I, I just I want people to stop saying it, but I don't think it's ever going to be stop said. I'll go icky with you. I've been just going Kiner. Yeah. I'm going to say Kiner. I mean, on Twitter, it's just too easy to type IKF. I, I understand why it happens. I just think the flow of IKF is awful. Yeah. You know? Icky. What's your first award? My first award of the episode is... Mm. Good for you, sicko. And it goes to two guys. Good for you, comma, sicko. Uh, Two people are getting this award. It's going to go to two guys. Good for you, sicko. Um, Carpenter and Marwin. Carpenter is one. Okay. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Now, Marwin is not. Okay. Do you want to read? Do you want to try again? No. No second try. No. Carpenter and Cashman. <laughs> okay. Okay. I wouldn't do two players first time. Come on. I'm not a jerk. Uh, I'm not a jerk. Me. Good for those guys, huh? Yeah. Carpenter's got three hits with the Yanks. Three homers. Yeah. A little dumb. Carpenter in his two games in this series. Two for seven. Three RBIs. Two homers. Jimmy. He's a sicko. Looks like a sicko. Cashman's a sicko. And they're both beautiful right now. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you like what I'm doing right here? No. Okay. 
Follow up question. Mm-hmm. Let's have the conversation about it's it. It's the same question you asked me. Do you think there's a little Avarex there? No. Yeah, a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Because I think that when um, Donaldson gets called back up, which I think is soon, do we get confirmation? All is Stanton coming back up? Is he eligible? Well, I don't think Donaldson's eligible before him. No, it's it'd either be like it's either Stanton or like Low Castro. So I think we're going Stan. But no, he's not eligible. He was saying Donaldson wasn't until Saturday. I thought he said Stanton. No, he was answering the Donaldson part of that question. No, I asked about Stan. Okay. Fuck. Is Tilo ready? Tilo's going to come just to get sent down? Seems messed up. Anyway, whenever Stanton and Donaldson are ready, I, I do think that they'll go to a four-person bench because pitchers have been pitching so deep right now. Right. You can do it, and then you call someone for an and emergency. And the Yankees had an off day Monday, and they have another one next Monday. And the devastating thing is that I, I do think St- uh, Andujar will be sent down. And I, I don't think you can do it. I don't think it's uh, uh, I, I just I don't think you can do it. I think he's I don't know what the numbers say actually, but the feel has been good. Um, he gives a different approach. I don't think he'll stay down for a while. I think he'll be back up. Right. But they can't do anything with Hicks yet, and they can't do anything with Gallo because of money and options and 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 all that stuff. Yeah. And like you said, Carpenter, they can't send him down. They would have to release him. So Andujar being the only one. And I think out of the four, Andujar, and I think the evidence shows it by the way they're using him right now, deserves to stay the most. Yeah. But they would really have to cut uh, a guy loose just to keep Andujar around for till the next injury or 10 to 14 more days, which doesn't add up in the business side of things. Um so I, I do think there is some Mavericks to there, where if Carpenter was a bust, they would lose him and Andrew right. would get to stay. If Carpenter was like just 0 for 15 right now, it'd be like, well, maybe this ain't happening. Or like only found the porch once. But he hit a leadoff homer off Otani. <laughs> yeah. Other bitch at bat. Um, yeah. And I, and I think Hicks, I, you know, it's early, but I think the way you, the way you look at it now and I don't know if I'm stepping on more words, but okay. H- Hicks would become the fourth outfielder, and, and Gallo would be the easiest to try to get something out of. Uh, and then and then Andujar could be the left fielder. Yeah. I mean, we are. We'll see what happens in the coming days. Um, you know, we also just had COVID and injury stuff happen. You know, Glaber had a scary slide in this series, so, you know. Sometimes the the music of baseball figures stuff out on its own. But, yeah, I mean, right now, if everyone's healthy, it seems like Papa Do would be the odd man out yeah. just for everything involved. And so. Marwin can play shortstop, so he's not going anywhere. God. So. He can do everything. Yeah, he can play everything. So, that is a little avarexy. Yeah. Okay. Good question, Jake. Thank you. Yeah. Well, good counter to my good question. I wouldn't say counter, copy. The people don't even understand that I have half a tooth in my mouth right now. Yeah. Half my tooth tell them. Half my tooth broke off. I didn't feel like my story to tell. I didn't know if you were just gonna straight flu game it and not mention it or what, but You get to give out an award now? I I just died in your arms tonight. Has there been something you said? Uh, James. I will give out. <laughs> um. The book. The book's moving too fast. Award. The book's moving too fast. The book's moving too fast. The book. Yeah. Is moving too fast. Yeah. Book. Okay. Um, maybe like uh, this is something about uh, Hocus Pocus and the book mm. that like flies around. Um, so who's been doing witchcraft on the team? Mm. 
Um, the book is moving too fast. Glaber. I think you're giving it to Glaber. You nailed it. Glaber Torres, Jim, the book of baseball moves fast, man. Every day something happens. We Tonight, we went from perfect game to loss to Gallo's going to have his moment to Gallo's on the Padres to Rizzo's a hero to Clay Holmes is blowing it to Clay Holmes <laughs> still lights out in a mere, like, two innings. Glaber Torres, if you remember when he hit his home run in this series, it was kind of like, damn. He had a two-hit day before. He goes on to the next game. He's got a two for four with the homer. Glaber Torres, since that, the rest of this series went so baseball that, like, he became an afterthought. Like, if we were reviewing this series in reverse... By the time we got to Glaber Torres, we'd talk about, like, everyone else. But Glaber Torres, you know, we talked about him earlier this week. He's up to 10 home runs. He's been in the middle of the lineup. He's been a necessity in the middle of the lineup. He's hitting balls the other way. It's all beautiful. There's just so much stuff going on around him that we already put him in, like, a safe spot in our head. Where DJ and Judge usually are. Yeah, that the book's just moving too fast that we're not even having enough time to talk about Baby Glaby, but uh, good for him for doing it. Good for him for doing it. Labor thoughts, final award, missing tooth? I like Labor a lot. Okay. And I'm happy for him. Yeah. My final award. He's making the routine play to his right very easily. Yes. It's nice. My final award is... Final award. Biggest award of the show. Is... Closing award, man. Uh, it's an on pod, and Jimmy's about to say things not worth saying that people won't like, but it's an on pod award. We're an hour six in. Mm-hmm. It is 12-16. Yeah, in the morning. And if you're going full heavy on pot at the end, I don't know, dog. Why? You think I should back out of this? No. I think you should let your heart speak. But if it's Joey Gallo, I'm a little nervous. What is? Ah, shit. (laughs) It's also Yankees fans. Who's getting the award? Uh, It's like... Because there's a potential you're giving this award to, like... Galloites. 500 million people. Yeah. Galloites. <laughs> Listen, this is an on-pod, okay? This is an on-pod. I shouldn't have mentioned on-pod before. I have to be honest with the people about my thoughts. Yeah. Otherwise, they're going to be like, you guys signed with yes, and you, you don't guys, say anything you, you believe guys anymore. You sold out, You guys man. sold out. I knew that. I followed them. I followed now, them I'm not a religious me. person. Cut the episode. <laughs> I'm not a religious person. I got beeps. But I don't. I I'm there's not, some I'm people not. that be, have like strict belief in religion, and I yeah. am happy for them. Yeah. Like that's cool that you have that in your life. I hate the F. Altuve chance because I feel right. like it's fans that come to the stadium that aren't actually like diehard Yanks fans or fans, and they're just saying things to say things right. in unison as a crowd. They're drunk. They know someone else will pick it up, and they just enjoy the yeah. the rhythm of chanting it. Right. It's like playing the Macarena. You now know we have people yeah. still yeah. showing up to the stadium and just ripping Joey Gallo chants, and I don't think they have any idea how bad he's been, or what's going on. Yeah. Because I've never seen a guy get that many name chants. That's an honor right? to have your name, double name, chanted. Right. You're forgetting it's a with, beautiful name. I, but that's what I'm, that's why it's like the NFL 2 base, just oh, the rhythm of it people like. Joe but Gallo. it weirds me out, man. Yeah. It's like, where am I? This guy's worse than Chris Carter was. Yeah. This guy's putting up a historically... 
bad season right now. And I love that people have faith. Yeah. But I don't even think they have faith. I think if you were to poll the people chanting it, like, hey, do you know his stats on the year? They'd be like, what? And then they'd be like, fuck you, and just do whatever. But it's a weird thing that happens, and I don't get it. And it, like, creeps me out. How is this happening? I think it's my golf analogy. Uh, there's so much stuff going well. The Yankees are 21 games over 500 that it's almost like... It's like a bad player on your basketball team, and he still gets to take shots. And when they go in, it's badass, but you're still winning the games. Like you're up, you're up twenty. So yeah, I let him let him pull. Oh my god, another brick! Hilarious. Um, and yeah, I mean, the, he gets. There's more Joey Gallo than Aaron Judge. Easy it's a shit name to cheer. I know, man, but it just weirds me out. If Aaron Judge's name was Joey Gallo, the place would be too loud. Games would suck. Then make him change his name to Aaron Judge if his name was Joey Gallo. I like it would be annoying to sit in the stands. It would be constant. Yeah. Well, uh, there's also a stat tweeted out. Yeah. I think our crew was on was it hoodie? I don't forget who it was that. Um, Joey Gallo has only two RBIs that aren't himself. Yeah. So, he's hit five home runs, so that's five RBIs because he scores. He only has two other RBIs, and both times it was Josh Donaldson. So, he's only driven in one other player, and he's had 91 chances. Yeah. And there's some other stats flowing out there now just about how, like, it's, like, a historically bad start. Now, he had hits this season. Yeah, the series was good. Had hits. He didn't come up at the end there. Um, he looks better in right field, which I do so think is... So much better in is, right field. It's, if they're not trying to trade him, that is Avarex, because now when you have to send him back to left field, he's going to be even more mopey about it and not like it at all. So I'm hoping... I wonder if we see Stanton in left. Didn't he do that last year? He used to, yeah. Like, it might was be never saving in the it. stadium, but, it'd but be I like mean, elsewhere. Stan looked, Stan's looked competent in the outfield. Joey Gallo looks so much better in right field. I wonder if they go I wonder. reverse towers at some point. I wonder. I, I do think that. I hope he plays himself into some value. but As is he's an expiring. Expiring contract right. that... If you say, can we win without him right now, you say, yeah. 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 So, if he plays himself in the value, I think you just try to get something for him. Uh, he's, Judge can Judge and Stan can both play right field. Judge and Stan both hit more homers than him, and they also hit for average while hitting more homers for him. So, like, he's not – Andy Orr brings something different. He's hitting for contact. He's putting yeah. the ball in play. Looks good in left. And he looks good in left. So, he's, so he's bringing something different. So, I just think that – I'm hoping he plays himself into uh, some deal. I'm not expecting a lot back for two months of Joey Gallo, but just anything. Yeah, I'm interested to see because the other side of that, like we've talked about, if he starts playing himself into something, do the Yankees talk themselves into something? Um, Because I do think there's a sicko part of the Yankees analytics crew that's like, wait, a Joey Gallo at the bottom of the lineup? Um, We'll see, man. I... All signs of this book are, are looking like the chapters aren't going to end well. I'll say this. The defense in right field was much better, and that was good to see because I was like, what the hell is happening in left? And he runs the bases pretty well. It's, it's fun watching him run the bases. He's just never on there. Um, so, I don't know. Put together a hot streak, kid. If you turn into a reliever, you turn into something else, cool. Maybe you prove everyone wrong at this point, and that would be great, but, yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough. Glad we could be honest. It's an on-pod. It's an on-pod. Oh, anything else we missed? Jordan Montgomery doesn't get talked about. Yeah. And that, like, matches up. Oh, I heard a story. I, I got to tell you a story. I heard okay. It. Uh, it's awesome. Oh, I can't tell you on air. Huge, man. Monty has a great start. He gets overshadowed by the two other guys. Hilarious. Jose Trevino not getting a award is, like, such douchebaggery by us. The guy spent his Memorial Day with us, and then he went out and had, like, the game of his life. Um, 
the Jose Trevino game, uh, Matt Carpenter Homer Festival. We talked about that. Rizzo with a game winner. Hopefully that gets him hot, man. Some of his yeah. stats are getting getting to the bad place. We barely talk about Judge because he only hit one home run this series. Uh, DJ stats end up looking pretty solid on the series. Hicksy has what looks like a good series. Uh, Marwin plays really good defense. He sneaks in a hustle double on Mike Trout. That dude. was pretty cool. Um, I love Marwin. Like the dude that stood on Talking Yanks and said, "Like I don't know if you're going to be a part of this." It was me. Uh, I love Marwin. He's like one of my favorite players on the team. The way he plays defense, these at these at bats he's giving from both sides of the plate. I love me some Marwin, man. You like him more than Glaber? Um, you like him more than Anuar? Because you don't. The Glaber's like interesting. Like my respect for a thirty-three-year-old Marwin Gonzalez being able to play every de- position defensively like he does. Like in a way, yeah. I love Andujar. I've said that for a while now. Andujar slid into second base. You were sitting next to me at the stadium, Dude, and you whispered under your breath, I love Andujar. The way man. he runs, the way he's casually now catching fly balls in left field, the way he can hit, I love Andujar, dude. He's a part of this team. And you like his pants. I like his pants. And what did the guy say behind us that you're going to use in a burn one day? What did he say? No, I, I didn't agree to that. I didn't like it. You didn't like it. It's not my brand. Okay. Not my brand. brand. All right. That's all we got. That's all we got. Who do we play next? The Tigers. Oh, so another sweep. Okay. Uh, dude, I don't know. Sunday they're morning. playing. Dude, don't fucking. They're playing Elvin Rodriguez on the bump tomorrow. All right. Same nickname Chase Headley had. E5. <sighs> another, another sweep. See you guys Sunday, I guess. Go Yanks. Tell them, Grams. Go Yankees. Great. 24 games above 500. Whoop-de-doo, Basil.